Pastor Dick Drummuller, and I am the senior pastor here at Crystal Brook Church and also the founder and president of Hannah's House Ministries. And uh, what we're doing is we're going to bring you this week's uh, Hannah's House testimony, and I'm really excited today. Last week, we were able to hear from James, who is uh, one of our leaders here at Hannah's House, and many of you responded to his amazing story. Well, today we're honored to have, I call, I call her the better half. <laughs> yeah, James married way over his head, but anyway, just kidding. But anyway, so today, you know, we're, we're excited to have Ashley, and Ashley is James's wife, and, and uh, so we, we're going to ask her to tell her story. Our goal is really just to get information about Hannah's house, what we're doing, but also to let people know. Some people ask the question, are we doing any good? Because, you know, a lot of times in this ministry can get, a little rough, a little ugly. We see a lot of people relapse and go back out there and come back. And, and so sometimes people ask the question, are you doing any good? Are you really making a difference? And so we just felt like we wanted you to hear some of the amazing testimonies so you can hear for yourself that God is doing great things here at Hannah's house. Lives are truly being touched and changed. And like I always tell everybody, Ashley, that we're 100% successful because everybody that comes into Hannah's house, if we don't do anything else, we love them unconditionally, and we get a chance to plant a seed in their heart. And even if they leave, that seed is still in there, and, and certainly you know about that. So, so Ashley, I'm going to ask you, and I know you got an amazing story. We could talk for a long time, but just to go back and tell a little bit about your story because when I first heard your story, it blew me away. And, and a lot of people don't really have any uh, way of understanding where you're at if they don't know where you've been. So I'm just going to let you share a little bit of your testimony here today, and, and you can start when you were younger and kind of come up through today. All right, well, um, I was um, um, the oldest of three kids, and I lived with my mom until I was about seven. She was um, addicted to drugs, so that's where I first got my taste of drug addiction, um, and shortly after, you know, me and my brother and sister, we were taken into foster care, where I spent 11 years, and um, foster care is not glorious, um, there are good ones, but um, there's also a lot of ones that are in it for the money, um, so I was tossed around from home to home, I remember um, at 14, having a conversation with my therapist, and um, I had been in 75 placements within six months. Wow. Um, that's a lot. That's um, a lot. So, being in foster care, um, I felt unwanted. Um, I was very angry because it wasn't my fault I was in foster care. Um, um, it was even to the point where they separated my brother and sister from me um, because a lot of times I took my anger out on them, not even knowing. Um, so I grew up very just angry and hurt and a lot of, I've had a lot of traumatic events happen in my life. And um, about three years ago, I was, or maybe closer to four, I was sitting in jail in Sedan, and um, a good friend of mine, Veronica, um, she used to be a volunteer here for Hannah's house, um, she was telling me about Hannah's house, and uh, um, she told me, you know, rules, and I was like, eh, rules, no, I'm not going. Huh. So when I got out of jail, um, I went back to Wichita, which is where I'm from. Um, I was in a um, bad situation there, um, not really having a place to go, just going wherever I could. And so finally, um, I was tired, and I was just like, I need to go to Hannah's house. Something was drawing me to Hannah's house, and I think I called Elena probably three or four times every day until there was an opening. and. Um, Veronica, the lady that told me about Hannah's house, she actually came and got me from Wichita and brought me back to Independence. Um, um, to go back a little in between there, um, I never thought I would have a drug addiction because of the way I grew up. Um, I was very anti-drug and 
um, I, uh, you know, just grew up in a chaotic lifestyle because of drugs, and I just told myself I'd never do that. Well, in July of 2015, I used methamphetamine for the first time and then wound up in jail. Um, and then I came to Hannah's house, and still then I wasn't completely ready. I still had a lot of anger. I, I don't know, Pastor, I probably left Hannah's house mm. many times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember, I remember Ashley's like, she's probably the only, only one to this in the last oh, six and a half years. And I remember you did have quite a little temper, and, and I remember one incident where a uh, couple other the gals had to kind of pull you off of another gal cause, yes. and, and you were doing it for a good cause you were standing up for what you felt was right but but i saw that fire in you and that that anger yeah. come out and when it did it was it was it was for real yeah so but uh, with the help of hannah's house when i came you know going to foster care like i said i never felt wanted i didn't feel like i belonged anywhere um coming to hannah's house when i first got here but first, I never heard of Independence, Kansas, so I, you know, was terrified and never been in quite a program like Hannah's House, so I had a lot of fears and worries, but when I, once I hit that door, the girls that were here at that time, they immediately embraced me. I mean, I, I cried because I had to give my cell phone up, mm -hmm. and... I just remember them telling me, you know, it's going to be okay. This is an excellent program. Um, you know, we're all family here. And the background, coming from the background I have, that meant a lot to me. And it truly was and is, till this day, a family. And um, I, I'm so grateful for Hannah's house because I still have a slight temper, but I've let go a lot of anger that I've had built up since I was a child. I just let it go and, you know, let God take over because obviously I can't do it um, in my own will. It's strictly God. And it took me a while, but letting that go, you know, Pastor, you always say, if you have God, you have peace. And I have peace today. Um, I still get angry. Um, I'm sure we all do, but mm -hmm. I don't go to the extremes like I used to and, you know, want to beat somebody up or, you know, break things and throw things and cuss people out. Um, and I, I'm just, I'm, Hannah's house has just, it's, it's my family and they'll always be my family. They've really helped me this program. You know, and I just want to touch a little bit. You know, we do have people that go out and relapse and and mess up, but there are seeds still being sown, and, and I don't consider any of those failures because they they've seen and they know they're loved. Mm -hmm. You know, either even if they are messing up, we still love them, and we still you know reach out to them, and a lot of us end up coming back over and over and you know eventually we get it right <coughs> mm -hmm. um, and I just want to say you know if you or somebody you know is struggling with not just drug addiction not just alcohol but any addiction um, you know we, addictions don't discriminate That's right. you know, there's many addictions I had a lot you know relationships you know anger Every, anything can be an addiction if you're placing it before God. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you or anybody you know is struggling with an addiction, you know, reach out, you know, Hannah's house or, or any other program. Uh, because there's a lot of people out there struggling. And, mm -hmm. you know, if, if your heart is with Hannah's house, I really ask you, you know, just to sow into that. You know, um, financially, you know, volunteer, come hang out with us once in a while, you know, to see what we do. 
And you know, Ashley, I know you didn't, I know this is a hard subject, but a lot of people don't, you didn't mention the fact that how many children that you have uh, and, you know, what the process kind of led to. Maybe just take a quick minute and share about your kids and then uh, some really cool stuff has happened. So, um, I have seven children and because of decisions I've made in my life, I've, I've lost custody of all those um, minus one. Um, you know, when I came here, um, I was going through custody with um, twins, my twins. And, um, you know, God works in mysterious ways. Um, at one time, you know, they were coming to church, and I built an amazing relationship with the foster parents they had. I, I absolutely loved them, um, and they, they are, I consider them family and mentors. They've helped me and James a lot. Um, but despite, you know, decisions um, and losing all seven of my children, um, recently, I think about six or seven months ago, um, some things happened with my 11-year-old daughter, and uh, James and I went to court, and we were given custody of her, and she's doing tremendously. Um, it's, it's awesome to be a part of her life and see her grow and be a part of, she absolutely loves Hannah's house, um, and all, everybody in it. Um, but even on my worst days, I, I still have God, and I have hope, and, you know, I've been through some pretty tough times, but, um, Pastor, you told me one time, if, you know, we don't get the opportunity to praise God during trials any other time but now, right. you know, because when we go to heaven, you know, it's all, it's perfect, mm -hmm. but, uh, here on earth is the only time we get to praise God through our trials. And when you told me that that has stuck with me, and no matter what I face, I count it all joy. Amen. And, you know, like I said, I know uh, uh, Ashley's story is amazing, and James and Ashley have become leaders here and, and have helped us. And I know they're growing and they're young in the Lord, but they have been a tremendous blessing and one thing I know about them is if somebody's hurting or out there in need, uh, they're, they're there. They've taken in kids. They've, they've done whatever they can do to help. And, and it's a beautiful thing. And, and, uh, and that's what we see happen over and over. And, and so, Ashley, I'm really proud of you and, and how far you've come. It's been quite a journey. <laughs> and, uh, but I just think you're a great example of one who had to have a few tries and went around the mountain a few times. But you had a place you could keep coming back to and said, listen, we love you. Let's try get up and try again, and 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 now you guys, I don't believe you're going to look back, and you're moving forward, and God's doing great things in your life, and <clears throat> so anyway, we just wanted to bring you this testimony and and uh, let you know of the good things that are doing, and if you're out there, you know, please pray for Hannah's house. If you want to know more about Hannah's house, you can go to hannahshouseks.com. It's all small letters, all one word. Hannah'shouseks.com. You can see more about us. There's some videos down in there. Uh, if you want to be a volunteer, you can check into that. If you want to help support this ministry, because we need all the help financially we can get, uh, we, we kind of live on the edge all of the time. And all that comes in, we're putting it right into these houses. We have 11 houses, four apartments, some buildings that we're trying to get livable. Uh, many of them are. I think seven of the houses are inhabited. Uh, several aren't. And we need a lot of finances. So... If you're out there and you could be a blessing, and I'm telling you, this is good ground, and, and we would love for you to partner with us and become a part of Hannah's House. It's truly touching hearts and lives. Hundreds. We, we're up to about 500 residents now over the last six and a half years. They're everywhere. Some are doing great, some not so great, and everything in between, but they've all got that seed in them, and they know they lo they're loved, and they're part of our family. So we need your help, and if you're willing, just go to Hannah's House, pray for us. And, you know, we're going to keep bringing you more testimonies um, because we want you to see for yourself the good things that God is doing in these people's lives. And so, Ashley, I thank you for sharing today. And, and uh, like I said, good to have you. And we'll be back here in a couple of days with another amazing testimony.